Hi guys, I'm Tsuyoshi. Today I show you leg locks, which is about Niebuhr and Toho. At the beginning of the video, I show you how to finish submissions with each other, and then I show you the way to set up on the position. Let's get started. Okay, before I show you technique, I want you to understand rules in IBJJF. So in IBJJF rules, Niebuhr, Toho are okay about brown belt. So in only black and brown belt can do that. So if you are white belt, blue belt, and purple belt, this is legal. All right, the first one, I show you how to finish Niebuhr. Okay. It's the same as a finishing Amber, but different things you have to make more leverage and stabilize the part. Especially uh, this time I'm gonna attack his legs. It's much stronger than his arm. So that's why if I don't make the frame properly, he's be able to defend it, right? In order for fish neighbor, I gotta straighten his knee, leg, okay? Okay, the first thing, I just wanna pinch his thigh with my thighs, like this, okay? At least he needs to be below his knee, okay? Here, I pinch my thighs like this as much as I can. And then I stabilize his thigh. The next, I straighten his leg, okay? I'm gonna hold around his ankle, okay? Then I pull it. I start straining his leg. This. I already pinch his thigh because my thigh is like this. And then I'm gonna straighten the rest of the part. Okay, the first I want to hold his heel like this, okay? And then I drag his leg towards my chest. Okay, once I make it, I want to stabilize the leg completely. So I put my chest on his shin like this. And then I'm gonna grab his heel to stop his rotation of his leg. I even use my ear to st stabilize the hook like this. So this is the position in order for me to finish neighbor. Okay? I pinch his thigh, stretch the leg, and then stabilize his heel as well. Like this. Then once I set up, right? As if I'm using my belly to apply pressure on his knee, and then I finish neighbor, okay? I pinch it so tight. The look I use my belly like this. And then I can finish up. Like the armbar, a lot of guys, when they finish, they try to lean back like this. Even this is a 10, same, right? If you just lean back, you rely on your arms. That means he can easily bend his leg. Let's say here, if I try to yank his leg like this, he's going to bend. He may be able to lock his legs like this. Then I cannot finish anymore. So that's why before he does that, I wanna get his leg away from the other side of his leg, okay? Here, then I don't make any gap between my chest and his shin, look, like this. Even during the time I straight his leg, I keep it super tight, then as if I did a deadlift, I use my lower back against his leg, like this. So this is a battle against his thigh, I use my lower back, like a deadlift. This should be much stronger than his leg extension like leg curl, then I can stabilize it, right? Also another thing, I don't want him to change the point of his knee, what he wants to do is turn his knee like this, right? So as he does so, I can no longer finish an even, right? This, right? So usually he wants to turn his foot like this, and then I cannot finish it. So I just wanna grab his heel with both of my hands like this. As I do so, it's getting harder for him to turn his knee. Can you try that? Look. I completely stop it. This is the same as grabbing the list of your opponent, right? Especially in your case, once you get grabbing the list like this, you cannot easily turn your list. So you wanna do the same thing on your opponent's leg. Like grab the heel, keep it super tight like this. I will use my head to stabilize toes. He may be able to turn like this once he starts his toes. Turn it like this. So I go like this. Then he cannot turn his leg at all. Okay. Then I also pinch his thigh with my thighs as well, like this. And then, as if I'm using my belly to push his knee forward, that's how I put the pressure. Even though I want to make more leverage, I'm not going to lean back. See, as I lean back, I gradually make gap between me and him, which is no good for me to finish. So I keep it super tight. And then, what I like is using my belly, I thrust my hips forward a little bit, and then, Apply the pressure. Okay, next one is the toe hold, like finishing the ankle. Okay? And that's the opposite movement to the knee bar. Okay, last technique, knee bar. I want to straighten his leg like this, and then apply the pressure on his knee. 
So against this movement, he usually wants to bend his leg like this. See? So as he does so, it's getting harder for me to yank it. But on the other hand, I have other choice. That's the toe hold. Okay? First, I'll show you how to lock his head, like toe. All right, first, I'll show you how to stabilize his head. Okay? I'm gonna use my hand to control outside, so like a pinky side, like this. Okay? And then, with the other side of my hand, I'm gonna grab my own wrist. So I get my hand under his heel, and then I grab my own wrist like this. This is the same as Kimura lock, can you just think, right? Like this, right? With the outside of my hand, I grab the object. Then, with the outside of my hand, I grab my own wrist. This type of two on lock, you want to make it, okay? Outside, and then, grab my own wrist like this. Then once I make it, I want to make the maximum leverage. So in order for me to do, I'm going to push his toes, like bend his knee, like this, okay? And then from this position, as if I stretch his ankle around here to finish it. So in that time, I apply two pressures, okay? I push his toe, and then I pull up his heel, like this type of pressure, okay? I grab like this. Then, as if I push his toes, and then I apply pressure. Then, I want you to recognize size. You can only grab outside the toes like this, in order for me to the toe hold. On the other hand, you cannot make the reverse grip. Let's say, grabbing toe side, and then make a grip like this. Even though you apply pressure on his ankle, this is completely illegal in IBJF rules, because this is the same as twist his knee, okay? If I go like this, Obviously, this is gonna be pressure on his knee. So this is not allowed to do in IDJ rules. Then it's not that efficient if it's compared to your regular toe hold, okay? I show you again, so in this position, I grab the outside toe like this. Then I'll even make it thumbless grip. I'm not gonna glove with my thumb like this, like this. And then I cover on this side. And then I'm gonna grab my own knees like this. Now, obviously, it's not easy to make Kimura lock if his knees straighten like this. So that's why the situation is he slightly bends like this. This kind of shape, okay? I grab his toe, and then I don't want to go under to grab my own legs like this. So what he wants to is straight his leg, like the leg extension, and then I cannot finish it. So in order for me to avoid, before I apply the pressure, I bend like this. Then once I stabilize it, as if I'm picking up his ankle and then apply the pressure. Okay, now I show you combination. Like I said before, knee bar and toe hold are completely opposite directions of each other. So that's why technically opponent cannot defend both of them at the same time. Okay, I wanna start with knee bar. Okay, I hold his leg and make it really tight. Then when I try to apply the pressure, what he wants to is leg curl, like use his hamstring like this. So this is the thing. I can still keep on doing the movement to finish knee bar, but when I see bends like like this, it's gonna be way easier for me to switch to toe hold. Okay, so in this position, I just switch. Then once I set up, in order for me to finish toe hold, I'm going to yank his leg like this. But against this. He wants to extend his leg, like leg extension, but using his thigh. So in this case, especially once he straight his leg like this, I cannot finish it. Even like he's making boot on like this. It's so hard to bend his ankle. But in this time, he's completely exposed his knee, right? I shift to knee bar like this, okay? So that's a combination. All right, now I show you basic entry to set up knee bar, okay? This is one of the easiest ways to set up, like from the half guard on top. Like he plays knee shield like this. So in this situation, okay, I want to attack his left leg, okay? I make the under hook first. Like I hold his knee like this. And then I'm gonna go to the other side, as if I send his arm, like step his body over. So I make some space here. He may even make frame like this, right? I'm gonna use my arm to secure the space. And then I'm gonna slide my chin that comes over hip, hips and belt, like this, okay? 
Once I set up, I'm gonna fall on the other side with my left shoulder, like sliding my knee on the side. Okay, I fall on the mat. Okay, this is the time I fall on the mat on this side. Now, as you can see, my left leg is stuck, but it's okay. But it's the same principle. I use my thighs to pinch it tight like this. And then, from this position, I put my head on this side. I want to make sure that I complete grab his heel to stop rotation with the leg, okay? Then once I'm done, I'm gonna use my belly to finish it, okay? So important is pinch his thigh, stabilize the heel, and then you apply pressure on his knee with using the belly. Okay, next one I'll show you from this angle, okay? I make the underhook like this. Then it's very important to do is keep the knee so tight on me like this. I don't make any gap like this. Especially once he can use the shin on my belly like this, I can no longer step over. I can even hold his leg like this. I cut his thigh and then I put his kneecap on my chest like this. Okay, and then I go to the other side. I put the shin, I fall on the mat. As soon as I fall, I pinch my knees together to stabilize his thigh. And then I grab his heel and use my head as well like this. And then it's very important to use my thighs. And then I thrust my hips forward and then apply the pressure to finish him. Okay, I should entry for a toe hold from this position. Like he plays the other hammer. Then it's available to attack his right hand. Okay, in this position, I grab his toe with my head like this. Okay, I'll grab the outside like this. And then he already bends me. That's good for me to set up toe hold. Okay, from this position, I hug his shin with my armpit. I use my armpit like this. And once I make grip like this, so from this position, as if I push him up, and then I pull up his seat and push his toe, like make this type of angle. And then I apply pressure on his ankle. I grab him, and then I pull it up. Okay, let's push, okay? I grab his ankle like this. Then I wanna make sure I grab the outside, his toe, not the inside, like this. Then before I make him a lot, like grab me on this, I want to make sure that I completely bend it like this. Then. I don't even make any gap between my chest and shin. That's why, look how I use my armpit to trap his foot like this. Yes, I use my armpit and then I grab my own This is the same as Kimura walk. Then from this position, right? I don't want to stretch his leg like this. It's gonna be a problem. That's why, I just gonna keep on pulling his shin on my belly and then I'm gonna turn my body. I use my body to apply pressure, not with my arms. Okay, one and two.